Hey, if you'd permit me today uh, to have a little bit of movement, uh, I wanted to give you a little tour of uh, the exterior of the treehouse. Um, so the treehouse was a project that started simply because my grandchildren um, kept reminding me that I said when we moved on our property in the mountains that I would build them a treehouse and they were pretty relentless. <laughs> they were seek, seeking and keep on seeking. They were ask, ask, keep on asking. That's They treated me just like God invites us to treat him to keep asking. And and so it slowly, you know, one day a week got built. So behind me is the climbing wall, which is a fun part of the treehouse that they love, that they get belayed and they get to do the rock wall, which is pretty fun. It's a pretty fun deal. Um, the effort and energy that it took to build the treehouse was sustained. Um, it wasn't built in a day, and it's a lot smaller than Rome. <laughs> um, but it was sustained. It was, you know, calculated. Um, week by week, I just kept putting one more piece of the puzzle together. Um, this part of the treehouse is, is the window side. Um, and that's been really fun. It's been a delight to... To, to build, and it's been a delight to uh, share and have others come stay in it. Um, God calls us and likens us to a building that he's building, and the foundation is Jesus. The, the, he's the foundation of our building, our relationship with him, our love and acceptance and forgiveness that he gives us is our foundation of our building. And then as we grow, we looked yesterday at this kind of this idea of becoming more competent believers, as that's happening, we are being transformed. So part of what being a missionary is, is someone who understands the balance and the connection between being, being, and doing. Um, the being comes first. Which chicken or egg? Which comes first? <laughs> the chicken. Um, he makes us in his image. Our intrinsic worth is there. And then out of that, we, we are drawn to him and have a relationship with him when we recognize his desire to apprehend us through his crucifixion, through the sending of his spirit, through the revelation of his word. Those things draw us in and we make that embrace. And now we're on this, this track where he's now conforming us to his image. He's committed to do that. In fact, he's committed to use all things to make us more like him um, because we're those that were called according to his purpose. And his purpose is not just to save us, but but to redeem all things, to reconcile all things. And so he wants to use us to draw others into that same relationship that we have been so blessed by. And that requires intentionality. Trios would have never gotten built if I had said, yeah, those are nice ideas and those are wonderful wishes, but um, it's not gonna happen here. You and I make a decision every day if God's purposes are going to happen here, if we're going to personalize the message of Christ, if we're going to accept the call to make disciples, if we're going to go to Jesus as the place to find rest. We make that decision. It's our choice. So we talked about four P's this last week to, to practice, some things to practice to get better at being missional. Um, the balance of, of being and doing is recognizing that I don't have to do to get God to love and accept me. Um, I have to rest on what Jesus has done for that. What he's done, not what I do, brings my acceptance. Um, I don't have to try to achieve something um, to be his child. I just have to receive my relationship with him to be his child. I don't have to look good in front of others or even look good in front of God. I just have to look to what Jesus has already done. And when I do that, I am embracing the foundation of my relationship with God. And now that's my being. I'm his child. I'm his child. Didn't earn it. Didn't deserve it. Just received it. That's my being. But doing is important. My doing doesn't make me who I am, but my doing affects who I am. And so until the believer recognizes that faith, they can say that we know God, but without works or without action, is, it isn't really faith. Because that this new creation that I am in Christ has a passion, has a desire, has a new internal motivation to be like him. That springs up into 
behavior and doing. So it doesn't just change the way I see myself, it changes the way I behave myself. So today, recognize that as you practice spiritual habits and disciplines, you are engaging in the doing because your doing doesn't make you who you are, but your doing affects who you are. And so when I'm doing the wrong stuff, it's going to affect the, the sense of stability that I have available. I have complete stability available in Jesus. But if I'm not doing the things that uh, represent my love for him, that are in alignment with him, that keep me in step with the Spirit, then I'm going to go get out of alignment and I'm going to feel the instability that that will will be predicated on that behavior. But when I cooperate and keep in step with the spirit, let the fruit of the spirit be my motivation, the, the outflow of the inflow of his presence. All of a sudden now I'm arresting impatience and replacing it with patience. I'm arresting um, insensitivity and rudeness and replacing it with kindness. I'm arresting uh, lax and slack behavior and replacing it with self-control. That the fruit of his presence is changing me and it's seen by what I do. So have you got the balance? Do you rest in and know and love the fact that you are his child? That's your being. And your doing is you're following in his steps. You're practicing spiritual habits. Today, reaffirm that you are a missionary, a mentor, a disciple, someone who's loving. But let the foundation of his love be what motivates everything else you do. When you do, you've not only found inspiration in Jesus, motivation in your heart, but also you're engaged in the preparation that will help you bring actualization to act and see actually happen your faith in Christ, to be the person, the missionary he's called you to be. I will see you tomorrow.